hello there and happy fall is coming the nights are getting cold but the days are still warm my next project coming up is going to be the hazel skirt by legend sisters on etsy i will link to that in the description below it's a lovely skirt with suspenders i'm going to be doing version a i'll be doing it in a medium weight linen with the nights getting cold though i'm kind of wishing that i'd done it gotten flannel or wool or wool blend to do it in anyway this first one we'll be doing in linen and then i will hopefully do another one down the road in a flannel or a wool for a winter version that'll keep me nice and warm although now that i think about it a corduroy version would be wonderful as well let's get sewing for the skirt, I'm going to use this navy blue linen as the outer fabric, black cotton wall for the lining. It requires a 16 inch zipper and I could not find any navy zippers that were available as just one. So I ended up choosing a black zipper and I think it'll work okay. Uh, buttons for the suspenders, these are these are navy and black. Then also Rigeline for the boning in the top of the skirt. Check out how they do their sizing. So they have symbols instead of dress sizes, which is pretty cool because a lot of sewers are confused about dress sizes, trying to match them to their ready to wear size, which is never the same as their sewing pattern size. So yeah, they've done symbols and you pick from your measurements below which one best fits you. I have, um, there's multiple size packs for this pattern. I got the smaller one because my size is within their range. got everything cut out I need to interface it next I had some hair canvas so that is what I'm gonna go sew on and then we can get to assembling the interfacing has been sewn on and now I am going to put together the inner and outer waistbands horse hair canvas from a seam allowance and then press the seams open. We are going to trim these a bit and then we are going to put the boning in. The boning is finished. This is Ridgeline, and I have these little rubbery end caps that go on them and got stitched down. This has been, this is the inner layer of the waistband and they have, all the seams have been boned. Now next up, I need to assemble the straps and then that will get sewn down in between the layers of the waistbands. All right, these have been sewn together, right sides together. The in 
ends have been left open so I can turn them inside out. And then I need to trim the hair canvas from the seam allowance. The downsides to your craft table also being the children's craft table is that sometimes you have some paint explosions. Thankfully this is getting turned inside out and it did not go through to the other side so yay! We're going to attach the straps to the top of the outer waistband now. Starting here at this mark, we'll pin across the top and then stitch it down. Now it's time to start assembling the skirt. These are the two back panels of the skirt. The light marks there are where I need to stop sewing because the zipper is going to go in the upper part. So we're going to get this pinned together and stitched up. So the center back seam is done. It's time to start attaching the side back panels. Okay, so the back skirt is done. The only place I had room to lay it out to see it all at once was the floor. Okay, more of the same. We are pinning the center front panel of the skirt onto the first side panel. And then over here will be the second side panel. Pin this all, pin this all down, sew it. Yes, I have pinned on the pockets. This is the on one side of the back side. Down here is the front pocket. Uh, same on the opposite end. We're gonna sew the seam along here, flip them out, sew them together, sew the side seams. Let's see the skirt, it's all done. There's nice big pockets. And then we're gonna work on the lining today. So lining and the hem of the skirt have been sewn and then under stitching is done on the lining and the seam allowance together this is all spread out and done. I've pressed this edge down and now it is time to sew the lining and the skirt together on the top edge and it's supposed to you're supposed to hang it and get the bottom end, try and get the bottom edge all neat. Uh, I don't have a way to hang it, so I was kind of hooking it over the, hooking it over the chair, that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm not entirely certain if I've got these edges lined up how I want them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste them and then see if I can get my husband to hold the skirt up for me while I check the bottom edges before um, officially stitching it down. Well folks, we are almost done. I have done, I attached the waistband to the skirt. This is really heavy by the way, so I'm glad it has shoulder straps. The last thing to do is install the invisible zipper. I've never installed an invisible zipper before. I do have my little invisible zipper foot, so we're gonna take it slow and see how it goes. I finished sewing the zipper in. It's not quite as invisible as I think the invisible zippers are supposed to be, but I think I did a pretty good job on it for the first time.
done. The hazel skirt is all ready to wear. I'm pretty happy with it, which is literally what I say about everything I make. But I do have some things that I would definitely do differently if I did it again. First off, the pattern was really great. Uh, any issues with it were entirely my fault. So, some things right off the bat. It is too long for me in the back skirt. Um, even wearing my brown heels, which are my only pair of high heels, it is still, the hem is still getting in the dew and getting wet. So if I want this to be even for walking around in town running errands, I do need to shorten this skirt up. Um, and I might do this, well actually I probably will do it with this one, adjust it to shorten the hem in the back by about two inches. This was my first time doing a lining like this in a skirt. I have done lining in some other garments and in like bags. I have not done it on a skirt and it was a little bit tricky for me to do. It was my first time doing it. So I, you know, made some mistakes. And also my first time doing an invisible zipper. There are some mistakes in that, but I think I did a pretty good job for my very first time. I wasn't paying the best of attention to the instructions. So at one point I did, uh, <laughs> I uh, sewed on some layers together that were not supposed to be sewn on together, which made some fun finishing of some raw edges that should have been tucked inside if I had been paying better attention to the instructions. Oh, instructions are very good to pay attention to. The last thing is that I used this horsehair canvas for my interfacing layer. It worked just fine. The only thing is it's entirely me. So the horsehair canvas, I seem to be allergic to something in it, just a little bit. It was making my nose and throat extremely itchy. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work out uh, later on when I make coats and jackets, since that is a popular option for interfacing. I know it's not the little bit of horsehair content because I've worked around horses most of my life and I am not in fact allergic to horses. Their hay that they eat is another matter. So again, pretty happy with this. I'm going to go get started on my next make which is going to be the Aurel blouse by Deer and Doe. So look for that in about two weeks. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and like the video. That helps me out immensely.